in recent videos in this series, I've spoken a little bit about what I feel are the negative elements of the atheist community, particularly online and most particularly of all here on YouTube. But for this video, I wanted to focus on the positive, on some of the things in the atheist movement that I feel are really encouraging and really progressive and should give all of us who are part of the atheist community, who are interested in atheist or secular activism, some hope and, and some real positive feelings for the future. Um, I mentioned a little bit about one of these things in the previous video in the series when I talked about the American Humanist Association and its sort of recommitting to having social justice as a central part of its activism. Humanism and social justice must go hand in hand. And the American Humanist Association uh, demonstrated this by announcing the creation of the Black Humanist Alliance and the LGBTQ Humanist Alliance and the uh, Feminist Humanist Alliance, which is a new version of the Feminist Caucus that has been a part of the American Humanist Association for over 40 years, I believe. So that's a really good example of atheism at its best, of the atheist movement putting its best foot forward, showing the world our good side. But there's another even bigger example of the atheist movement putting its best foot forward, showing the world outside of our community our, our good side, and that is the Reason Rally, which just took place over the weekend. If you were watching this video on Monday when it is first published, the Reason Rally was just a couple of days ago on Saturday, June 4th. Now, as I am recording this, it is Friday, June 3rd, so I haven't actually gone to the Reason Rally yet, so I can't tell you from where I'm sitting right here recording this video whether or not the Reason Rally was awesome. We're just going to have to wait and see. Actually, if I can interrupt myself from Friday, this is myself from Saturday, the day of the Reason Rally. I actually just got back from the rally. I'm in my hotel room here, and I can confirm that, yeah, it was pretty great. I had a really great time. I met a lot of people. I met some of you who were there who were kind enough to come up and say hi to me. And I don't know if you can tell from the camera here, but I am kind of sunburned. I, I used sunblock. I was responsible, but I guess I did not apply it liberally enough, so I did get a little sunburned. But um, it was awesome. It was a great show. It was a great turnout. Uh, some of the speakers there were just fantastic. There were people, let me tell you something, people who said that the, the, th the Reason Rally was going to fail because it, was, it had been taken over by SJW. Um, there were people on stage who talked about the importance of standing up for women's equality and women's reproductive rights. Everybody cheered. There were people there who stood up for the importance and spoke out for the importance of standing up for trans people and gay people. Everybody cheered. There were even speakers who spoke out about the importance of working for fair and just and humane treatment for Muslims in America. And everybody cheered. Nobody booed. Nobody cried, SJW, regressive left. Everybody was on board with it. And if the people weren't on board with it, I guess they just kept their fucking mouth shut, which is just what they ought to do. Uh, it was a really good day. It was a really wonderful, positive day. Really encouraging. So nice to see so many people. And uh, anyway... I just wanted to give you an on-site report. I just got back to my hotel room after spending all day at the rally, watching the speakers, walking around, talking to people. It was fantastic. If you made it, I hope you had a good time. If you didn't make it, trust me, it was a fantastic day. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. But what I do know from where I sit here is that there is every indication going in that the Reason Rally is going to be a fantastic event and an exhibition of the atheist secular movement at its best. If you look on the Reason Rally's website and you click the Issues tab at the top there, you see the political issues that the speakers and that the attendees of the Reason Rally have been encouraged to get involved in. And it's not just separation of church and state or creationism versus evolution or any of the issues that a lot of atheists were sort of preoccupied with a few years ago. It's stuff like LGBTQ equality, women's reproductive rights, science-based sex education, 
climate change, registering to vote, the importance of voting as a secular person, as an atheist, and making sure that your representatives who, who work for you at your state legislatures and in Congress know that atheists are a block of voters that participate in the process, that are interested in seeing our views and our interests represented and our concerns heard out and taken seriously. This has been one of the most wonderful things about the Reason Rally this time around is the focus on political activism and positive political activism and intersectionality within the movement, saying, yes, we are atheists, yes, we are secularists, but LGBTQ equality is important to us because there are gay folks and trans folks in our movement that are a very important part of our communities and we want to see them represented and we want to see them treated fairly and justly. Women's reproductive rights this is an important issue to us as atheists because we are a movement that needs to welcome and support and validate and value the contribution of women in the movement. And much, if not all, of the political opposition to women's reproductive rights in this country is religiously motivated. And we need to stand up to that. And we need to say that is not a valid reason for working to take away a woman's bodily autonomy and for working to outlaw a procedure that a woman might want or need to have in her life, an abortion. Uh, climate change. So much of the opposition to climate change is based not on science because the science says that climate change is a real thing that we need to be worried about and that man-made climate change, anthropogenic climate change, is something that we need to be taking seriously and we need to be taking steps to counteract. Instead of science, the opposition to climate change is based, again, just as with the abortion issue, on religious belief, on people who have a religiously motivated conviction that climate change is not a real issue, that modern science is not to be trusted. And again, we come back to the same problem with sex education. So much of sex education is motivated and shaped and influenced by overtly religious mindsets that reject science, that reject tested and tried methods that have been proven to work. Equality education, participation in our democracy. I am so thrilled and so proud to be a part of this movement in my own small, not very active way as just a dude who makes YouTube videos and occasionally tries to speak out in support of these things. But nonetheless, the size and the relevance of my contribution aside, I am so proud to be a part of this movement when I see things like this happening, when I see people saying, you know what, we're going to have a reason rally. There are going to be thousands, perhaps tens of thousands of atheists, of secularists, of non-believers, of all stripes gathering in one place. Let's motivate them to do something positive. Let's motivate them to lobby the government. Let's educate them about these issues. Let's encourage them to take part in the democratic process, to vote to ask questions, to call their congressmen. Let's make this something that really counts. Let's, let's take advantage of this opportunity. And there's another aspect of it that, again, gives me a great feeling of pride and a great feeling of hope about the future of this movement as it continues to grow and evolve and deal with its problems and correct its issues and its mistakes and move forward to be a positive force for atheists, for secular folks, for non-religious folks in general, and, and for the United States as a whole, is the attitude this time around from the organizers of the rally. If you look at the rally's website, if you look at the, uh, the statements that have been made in the media by people speaking for the rally organizers, if you look at the, 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 uh, the Twitter account of the rally organizers, and if you look at just the, the tone of most of the people who are talking about it who are going to the rally. I follow the, the, the rally event page on Facebook and so many people over the last couple of days have been checking in saying, I'm here in DC, I can't wait for the rally or I'm, I'm on my way. And it's, it's so positive. And the tone this time around, and I'm not saying that the tone last time around was, was necessarily a lot different than this, but this time it feels very, very explicit and very intentional on the part of the rally organizers that the tone of the rally this time is very much about lifting atheists and non-religious people up, not tearing religious people down. Many of the forces that we are going to try to stand in opposition to that I just mentioned, anti-climate change, uh, anti-women's reproductive rights, anti-science-based sex education, many of those forces 
are religiously motivated, are religiously influenced, are uh, driven by a mentality that places a religious dogma ahead of science or ahead of uh, the common good, uh, ahead of the ideals of equality and justice that we would like to think are uh, embodied and lived out by us here in the United States. But even though those religious motivations and those religiously driven influences are our enemies and are things that must be stood against, that doesn't mean that religious people in general are our enemies. If we want to say that the religious right and their goals are something that we must oppose, then I am 100% behind that. But the religious right cannot be allowed to stand for religious people as a whole, Christians as a whole, any more than the tiny percentage of violent, radical Islamic terrorists can be allowed to speak and to define Islam as a whole or Muslims as a whole. Um, and we've done a much better job lately, I think, at least when it comes to the reason rally of drawing that line, of making that distinction, of saying we must, for the good of ourselves and for the good of our society, for the good of a free secular democracy, we must stand in opposition to religious interests that try to overstep their bounds, to religious interests that try to impose the values of their church on people outside of that church, or who try to use an interpretation of their religion as an excuse to deny liberty to people, to deny rights to people, to support dehumanizing policies that would affect marginalized people in this country. We need to stand against that. We need to oppose that as strongly as we can. But we also need to make sure that we differentiate between that and the many, many, many positive, progressive, right-thinking, good-hearted, compassionate, empathetic religious people that live in this country and that live all over the world who would disagree with us, perhaps strongly, stridently disagree with us on questions of the existence of God, of the nature of the universe, but who care just as much as many of us do about social justice, about progress, about equality. And we can't make those people our enemies. They should be our allies. They should be our friends. We should all be pushing in the same direction. From where I sit, that has very much been the dominant tone of the buildup to the Reason Rally this time around. Lifting atheists up, lifting non-believers up, not trying to tear religious people down. And I can't tell you how encouraging that has been for me. And I can't tell you how proud I am to see a major, major part of the atheist movement, the Reason Rally and, and the many, many organizations that have sponsored it or done a lot of hard work to make it happen, uh, moving in that direction. Because I think that's the direction we have to be moving in if we want the atheist, secular, humanist, skeptical movement, uh, or movements, I should say, uh, to, to be an actual positive force, to be of some good to non-believers and to the country as a whole. It can't just be a movement based on atheists starting fights with religious people to prove that we're right and they're wrong and we're smarter than they are. It can't just be a circle jerk to enable non-religious people to assert our superiority and our higher intellect. Um, and it's not, I'm very happy to say it's, it, it's not that. So I think some of that needed to be said. I think I needed to say that for my own peace of mind, because I realize the last few times that I have offered commentary on the atheist movement, it's been focused on the negative stuff on the really toxic side of it. And, uh, it's better to focus on the positive. It's better to remind myself and to remind those of you watching that those toxic elements really don't count for much uh, when all is said and done. They, they do not speak for us. They do not speak for the movement as a whole. Uh, they are not doing the hard and necessary and progressive work that is being done by the organizations that have come together to sponsor and create the Reason Rally. And the Reason Rally and the organizations behind it are the movement that we should be spending most of our time focused on because they are the ones who are working to move us forward, to push us in the right direction, to make the atheist movement, the secular movement, whatever you want to call it or however you want to divvy it up uh, into something that will be of real 
consequence and of real use to atheists, to non-believers, by representing us, by representing our issues, by giving us a voice, not just on issues related to opposing religious influence, which is very important and absolutely must continue to be done, but on issues like science education, on issues like women's equality, LGBTQ equality, racial equality. These are issues that need to be a part of the atheist, secular, humanist movement because people in those groups who suffer from that kind of oppression are a part of our community. And we need to be serving those people and we need to be a movement that represents those people and represents all of our people, that represents the interests and the needs and the concerns of everyone in the movement and make sure that everyone has a space and everyone has a voice and everyone is treated with respect and everyone's contributions are valued. That's something that I think the organizers of the Reason Rally have worked very hard to do this time. And I really want to commend them for that um, and for setting a good example for the rest of us. So here's to the Reason Rally. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.